What's up guys, welcome back. Look, here's the deal. It's officially that time of year where you really start missing duck season. Like we're, we're early spring, mind shifting towards fishing, but you're like, man, if I could just go back to January, that sure would be awesome. So today we're gonna do a little throwback. I have gotten some whole woodies out of the freezer. I'm gonna show you what I do with them. So while I start getting this stuff ready and the boring stuff, check out this hunt from where we got these actual woodies. We took a guy hunting, it was his first ever hunt. Um, it's pretty cool to always experience people on their first hunt. He had a great morning, he killed a few ducks. Uh, we killed a few, but you know, ultimately, as it is in real hunting situations, we didn't get enough for a full video. So we're gonna do a catch clean cook. You're not gonna see the cleaning because I've already done that back during the season, but you're gonna see a catch and a cook. So check it out, hope you enjoy it. When you get done watching the hunt, come back in the kitchen. We're gonna cook these woodies up. Here we go. The final two weeks. It's rough around here right now. But we found a little death tied out. It's in a little thicket area. So we're gonna go move in on them this morning. You ready? Uh -huh. Are you? In your house shoes? I think I'll get wet. Your fuzzy house shoes? <laughs> Oh boy. This section brought to you by Uggs. <laughs> Why don't you get a cup of coffee? Stan's first duck hunt. That's going to be fun. Take your time. That's all, right. all I tell you. Slow and steady wins a race. Okay. When you're walking through that water, don't try to keep up with us. What's the difference between an engine and a motor? Well, one of them's electric, one of them uses fuel. Really? Well, yeah. I did not know that. I'll have to Google that. I'll have to get John David to check that for me later. Come on, employees. Let's go to work. coming right here so I'll be trying to tell y'all where they're at yeah but they should just come right through there and come right down in here so right as they get just right at those early shoes. we'll let them you see where you can still see where it's good light yep yep we're gonna try to shoot them right, right in good. there gotcha now as it gets on as the light gets up we'll let them get on down okay but we're gonna try to shoot them up a little bit early old gad walls there. Kill him. Kill the low one. Of all the mornings, I wish I didn't have my little gun. I could have got the first one.
just happened? You didn't see that? There's 30 right here. Oh, I never saw them. 30. Oh, I never saw them. Just. I did not ever see them. I'm going home. Why don't you and Matt come right here so we can tell you where they are? Or you, you could just look. I mean, that's a, that's a viable option. Oh, that was, that was a blast. If you want to know how to make Martin mad, two real simple things to do. When the ducks are coming in, flinch. He loves that. And the second thing, when he's when he sees 30 ducks and you don't see them, and two ducks come and lighten the decoys, and you say kill those two, he will lose every. Uh, he'll lose his religion. Wow! You didn't see those 30. You didn't see those 30. That's a that's a wrap. Look, Stan got his first duck. Got about four of them, I think. He got his first place. Five. Five. Yeah, two right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the ground swat. And a Jaguar. I like it. That's good. We've added another one to the fray. We got him hooked. Today's deal, what we're doing, is I've picked those woodies, and then I took and I cut out the backbones, and I cut straight down the breastplate. So you got like half a woody, half a woody, skin on, uh, good late season woodies, got a lot of fat on them. And we're gonna reverse sear them just like you would, uh, a lot of people do steaks and what have you. We're gonna uh, smoke them until they hit like 125, 130 internal. We'll pull them from the smoker. And at that point, we're gonna go straight to a hot cast iron skillet uh, over an open flame. I'm using my old fish cooker here and uh, then we'll sear them for like two or three minutes on the skin side down, and then we will eat. All right, so our ducks have been marinating, quick marinade, 10, 15 minutes in soy sauce. I like low sodium and vinegar, but I cheat the vinegar and just use pepperoncini juice. I use dill pickle juice. I use a lot of different I like pickled things like the pickled okra and all that kind of stuff. So instead of buying more vinegar, I just use the vinegar I already have because if not, you're just gonna throw that away. So we're gonna take our woodies and first I'm gonna go skin side down on the pan. Now you'll see, look, all I did with these was just cut the backbone out and cut down the breastbone. So this is a whole duck. He's just split in half. Then I'm gonna pat them dry with a paper towel. And now here comes our goodie. So I'm gonna start with our rub, I don't have a whole lot, but I don't want a whole lot. Ours has got a little heat to it. So I'm just gonna get a little light layer across all of these first, very light layer. This rub, you'll see, I'll kind of start getting a shine to it. And once it gets that shine to it, I'm gonna put the Meat Church Honey Hog on it because I like the sweetness of it. So uh, I got the heat down first with a little bit of pepper. Like so I'm gonna put just a little bit heavier not a whole lot, but just a little bit heavier of the honey seasoning. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna let it disappear. Once it gets to where there aren't any dry spots, you see that dry spot there. I'm gonna flip them over and I'm gonna do the same thing on skin side. You wanna still be able to see, make sure that you can see the duck skin. You don't want to completely, a woody is good. He's got a naturally kind of sweet flavor. His diet is mostly acorns, so. You know, actually compared to a lot of things, he tastes a lot like a deer because their diets are uh, a lot of the same. So he's he's closer to a deer than he is like a mallard, in my opinion. So they are almost ready to go on that smoker. Not quite, but they're almost there. So I think this is one of them deals you can do whatever you want on it, but I like to put them skin up. That way while they're cooking, all that fat is dripping down into the meat uh, rather than dripping into you. To your grease trap down there. So there they are. We're gonna close the lid on them. We're gonna keep a little bit of an eye on them. Uh, we're gonna let them get to 125, 130. And then when I pull them off of there, they're gonna go straight onto that cast iron, hot skin side down, and get that skin to really draw up and get crispy, because you want the crispy skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and light my, light my cooker here. We're gonna go ahead and put this big old skillet on there and get her to heating up and getting hot. That looks pretty good. Let's check on them one time. I know if you look in, you ain't cooking, but 
Oh boy. See how that skin's getting tight on there? <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Pit Boss. You've done everything I needed you to do. I'm gonna go ahead. So I got olive oil in there. I got a little bit of butter. Next, I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of minced garlic. I know I cheat. Oh boy. So now we're gonna, we're gonna put this guy and you're gonna hear a pretty good sizzle. Hear that? And I'm just holding him skin down. I want that skin to really bite on there. And we're gonna let him rock for about two to three minutes. You'll be able to tell. Pretty easy. See that rascal up there? And put him with his bone down. Oh man, look at that gold. Yeah. I'm gonna sit him there. And then we're gonna replace him. Them pre-cut sheets and they're like perfect for this. You just gonna take them. I go middle, middle, end, end, and then I always sit them skin side down. Remember where you're doing that. That way it just sits because that fat, everything's gonna keep cooking, and you'll just want it to sit up in that fat while it's in this little packet. And when you pull, when you unwrap this rascal, he's gonna have a little what they call meat butter in there. Mmm. Mmm. That's just the drippings. I'm about to pull them too. Wrap them. Let them finish resting. And then we're going to slice them. And me and Hunter's going to eat good. Alright. They've been resting. Now, let's pull them out. Cool. Cool. Let's go here. Oh, 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 oh. We have got us some beautiful reversed seared woodies. Oh, look at that. Look at that meat butter go into that grease groove. Oh, <laughs> that's what you want now for the real test. There we go. Look at that. Let's try it. I hate y'all ain't here. That's a good I'm gonna go back in on it. Look at here. Look at there. Mm. You see that? Look at that. Nice pink in the middle. Good smoke room. But I'm gonna keep eating these things. Y'all be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And let us know what you want to see more of. Now that we're in the off season, we got a lot more free time on our hands. We ain't chasing these ducks so hard. So, if you want to see more cooking videos, let us know. If you want to see more habitat, let us know. If you want to see more duck calls, let us know. But as for now, we're going to eat lunch. We're out.